Good morning, everyone. We are back, and it is early, early, early Monday morning. Dogs are sleeping on my bed. Kids are sound asleep, and it's time for me to do a different type of video. For this week, I will be stuffing all my binders, y'all. Don't worry, but I am going into depth on my binders. I have some new subscribers who are very, very new to budgeting, and I have been asked a couple of times if I would go a little bit more in depth for my budgeting system. Now, before we get started with that, just a little disclaimer, my budgeting system, and it may not work for you, or it may. Take what you want from my understanding here and my explanations and leave what you don't want, either way. I'm doing this because I was asked to do this, and I think it's a really good idea. Many, many, many times, a lot of us, as soon as we are becoming new budgeters and thinking about jumping on the bandwagon to doing budgeting, we go and we binge watch every single budget that we can get our hands on. Me included, I did the same back in January of this year of 2022. That's when I started my budgeting journey and I got totally lost and overwhelmed. So many different ways to budget, so many different planners, so many different budgeting tools and tips and supplies and what to budget, when to budget, how much to budget. All the things were just extraordinarily overwhelming even to me. What works for me, again, may not work for you, but I was asked to do this. So, I'm considering this to be like a budgeting series because I want to do this in depth. I want to get some understanding out there of at least of what I use. Like I said, it's going to be a trial and error for you. Get what you need, get what you think you need, start small, and then build your way up. Don't buy a bunch of budgeting products thinking they're all going to work because most of the times, they don't. Most of the times you do one system, it doesn't work for you, or it works for a while and you need to change. Do not go in two feet at a time buying everything you see all of us budgeting online doing. My budget system is different than someone else's budget system. What I budget for may be different than what somebody else's category-wise that they budget for. It's all based on your personal finance, your personal home structure systems, and your personal priorities and what you got going on. So, I stuff on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We will not be stuffing in this video, but I am gonna be showing you some products that I use for my cash stuffings and how I keep myself organized. I will also be later on showing you my planner in a different video. I will show you my budgeting stuffings, cash stuffings, in all the videos except for this one. This one is just unique to get you started to understanding what I use in my own budgeting system that works for me. So, A6 budget books is where it's at for me. I need my A6 binders. These represent about $7, I think is what they cost on Amazon. Now, this is just the basic one. They have them in different colors, magnetic closure. It's got the card slots, it's got the pin grippy at the top, and this is what makes it A6, is the six rings. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? I am not an Amazon affiliate. I will give you the link to this binder and you can choose different type of binder colors if you're interested, but I am not an affiliate, nor will I ever be an affiliate because I don't feel like you should be tracked by clicking on an affiliate link and that is what happens. If you click on an affiliate link, you're tracked from anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. And I don't want anybody being tracked. That just doesn't vote well for me. So if you want to know where I got this binder, let me know. I have my Instagram and my email address down in the description box. You can get a hold of me there or you can put it in the comments and then I will leave the link there as well. So where do I get my envelope set? I am slowly and surely switching over to only my budget with Emmy envelopes they do not have the zipper top the zipper top I have a problem with a lot of times those zipper tops are not reliable they do fall off they do break things of that nature and then you have to throw the envelope away and get another one these do not break y'all Emmy gives you a Emmy guarantee that if, if your envelopes split or get damaged like that in any way she will give you another envelope free of charge Emmy is an amazing budgeter here on YouTube. It is Budget with Emmy here as well as Budget with Emmy on Etsy. I buy these on Etsy. Now, she has got the Build Your Bundle sets. That is what I suggest that you use because you get more envelopes and more bang for your buck. If you buy them individually, I think she sells them for like $3 a piece. Don't do that unless you want one envelope. 
get the bundle sets. So her sets are 20 envelopes, 30 envelopes, 40 envelopes, or 50 envelopes. With that being said, she can personalize each and every single envelope. And when I say personalize, I'm not talking about the labels I have here. My son made those labels. I'm going to bring in one of my binders that I have here. And this is one of my 100 envelope system. And I will go through this this week as well because I'm teaching everybody how to go and do the 100 envelope system regardless of your income and how much you can stuff. You'll never fail if, I, if you see the way I set it up. Down here in the corner, you'll see a number 100. I told her to make each envelope in here $100. This is part of a 50 envelope set, y'all. $100 each. You can have different denominations. Say you bought the 20 envelope build your binder set. You wanted every single envelope to be a different denomination. What you'll do is in the description box where you put your personalization at for budget with Emmy on Etsy and you purchase this, you can say, hey, I want a 20, a 50, a 75, a 100, whatever you want on each one of these envelopes, just put the number with a comma and move on to the next envelope. And that's what you do. Now, the binder does not come from her, it's just the envelopes. This binder is another one that I got on Amazon. The more fancy your binders are, the more they're going to cost. This one cost me a little over 13, closer to $14. So, I will get into that system as I get there this week. Now, Budget with Emmys envelopes come on these type of rings. These are A6 rings. You will get a set that goes on this side and a set that goes on this side. She does not sell the binders with them, and just for clarification purposes. But what you do is you push up and down at the same time and you pull out if you want to get the envelopes off the rings. Before, I kept trying to pull, pull, and I couldn't get them to come apart, and then I was talking to uh, Crafted by Free, which is budget with free here on YouTube. And she's like, girl, you gotta pull one down, one up, and pull at the same time. So you have to pull up and down and out. So that's the way to get them off the rings. The rings I'm going to repurpose because I have some A6 paper and I'm making some little mini notebooks for my kiddos here at the house. So I'm repurposing those. But that is the budget with Emmy envelope shell. This is my January through December binder that we will be stuffing later today in a different video and I will go into depth with that. January through December I have a tracker in every single one of these. These trackers come from Jordan Budgets. Now two ways you can get these. Jordan Budgets here on YouTube is what her name is but on her shop Jordan with Budgets on Etsy. She has the 12 month pack in stock. If you don't have a printer, she has an additional listing you add on to your order. It says print and ship. She will print out and ship any printables that you purchase from her and you only have to pay $8. So I suggest if you decide that you wanna buy from Jordan Budgets and you don't have a printer, load up on a lot of her printables. That way it's economically um, understandable why you would pay $8 for her to print and ship them to you. She prints them, she cuts them down, she packages them, and then she ships them to you. So, for those of us who have printers, it's, I believe, $3.99 for the 12-month pack set. You get all 12 months. Once you purchase the listing, it goes into your purchase history. You can click on it and reprint as many times as you want, as often as you want. You just cut them down yourself and then put them in. So, this is month January all the way through December. We will be getting into this binder today as well and stuffing it. When I stuff this binder, I will explain the amounts that I put in here. I will explain to you why I put those amounts in, how frequently I put those amounts in, and what this binder represents. Each binder I have has a different goal. This is my celebrations and holidays binder. All birthdays are in here. All holidays that we celebrate are in here. So. That is what we do for our binders. Now I have multiple, multiple binders. And each binder I will be able to explain to you as we go through them in the stuffing this week for each binder, why they're in different binders, how I stuff those binders, how much I stuff in those binders, why I stuff them, and where I get my categories from. Again, everybody's situation is gonna be different. I even stuff for my chihuahuas. I stuff for their emergency 
pet visits if they ever have an emergency. I stuff for their annual vet visit and I stuff for their birthdays and for Christmas for them. If you don't have fur babies, you won't be using those categories. If you don't have children, there are gonna be categories I use that you do not use. If you don't have homeschoolers, you won't stuff the categories in some of the binders that I stuff. I have a homeschooling category. I have a picture category. Not only do I get pictures for my daughter who is a homeschooler and my son who's a homeschooler, they go through a um, studio where my daughter, my, other, my oldest daughter in the house, she is a public school student by choice. And so not only do I have to stuff for her pictures, this girl's on every sport known to man. We just finished volleyball. We're going into basketball come Monday. So I have to stuff a maximum over what I need to for her because I have to do stuffings for not only for her actual pictures, but I have to do stuffings in those pictures for her to also have for sports because she's a sports fanatic. <laughs> so I will get into those categories this week. Today I just wanted to let you know about the different binders, the envelopes, and some of the products that I use. Now, one big thing I wanna show you, and I've got four reasons why I do this. Prop money. Some budgeters do cash. Some do prop money. My entire budget system is through prop money. Four reasons why. Number one. I can't see. So I can't see my money. If I drop something or I stick the wrong amount into a binder, say I have this binder and I open it up and I'm thinking I'm stuffing a $5 bill in the first envelope and I accidentally pulled a 10 and stuffed it in here, this wouldn't screw me up like it would online. Online, I look at my accounts through Capital One 360 and I look and say, okay, in this envelope, I have this amount of money. But in my binder, it's showing either higher or lower. I can always rely on what I have in the bank because that is moving an actual transferred amount of real money from one account to my Capital One 360. I have a Capital One 360 account for every single envelope that I have. Sure do. It's named and it's also got the binder color. So I know which binder it is and what category it is. That's the first reason why I do prop money. It's to represent here online and show you what I'm sticking into these binders, but I'm actually moving transfer money from my account into my Capital One 360 account and it's automatically done. So with that being said, that's the first reason I use prop money. The second reason I use prop money is the fact of if somebody is to come in my house, they're not going to steal money. They're not going to get nothing. Yes, you can have a safe and your safe can even be bolted to the floor. But if a robber comes in, they're pretty experienced for the most part, they will find your safe, they will take it. And if it's bolted to the floor, don't think they don't have that tool in their pocket that they can unbolt it from your floor because it can happen, it does happen, and it will happen. You have to choose and make your own decision whether you want to have prop money, real money, or a combination of both in your house. It's up to you how you budget with your binders. I am extremely, extremely responsible now on using just prop money and knowing what's in my accounts and not touching it. So I'm okay with that. And I've got a credit card that I use and pay back every single month. I refuse to have interest added onto it. It will not happen. It's the way I am. So that's the reason for that. That is reason number two. Reason number three, if I go to the bank from my house to my bank to get money, bring it home, so I leave my house, I go to the bank, I go to the bank back home. Y'all, I can't see, I'm blind. When do you think they're gonna give, let me allow them to drive? It's not gonna happen. So with that being said, a round trip Uber to my bank and back home is $24 round trip. It's 2.7 miles to the bank, 2.7 miles home. Do the math, okay? It's not very far. So with that being said, I am not going to go round trip 5.7 miles, 5.4 miles, I'm sorry, 5.4 miles round trip and pay $24 for it. It's not going to happen. That would be misusing my money and just spending money I shouldn't be spending because I have prop money at home and I do transfers online. So I could transfer it without, without ever leaving my house. If I get a check in the mail, I can go ahead and take a photo of the front and the back of the check and it instantly deposits it into my bank. No need to go to my bank. No need to spend that extra money. 
Last reason why I don't use real money here at the house. If I go to the bank and I do spend the 24 round trip and I go back to the bank and I spend another $24 doing that a second time, not only am I still wasting money, but when you start putting too many transfers in and out, and I'm not talking $10,000 plus, even smaller amounts, you're way over how much you put in, put out, put in, put out. You will get stopped by the bank and they will ask you, why are you making so many deposits and withdrawals? What's going on? I don't need the bank in my business. If they see me transferring from my regular bank account to my Capital 360, they know I'm moving money. It's not massive amounts of money, but it's enough that they can go, okay, she's pushing this into these accounts. If they want to look into those accounts, they can see they're all named on the categories that I've got money in there for. And then if they ever show up in my house, I'll pull out my binders, I'll pull out my phone, show them my YouTuber, and show them that this is the way that I budget. So these are the four reasons why I use prop money. I don't use cash money. It's not gonna happen. Keeps my household safe too. Controversy is weapons if the system goes down and you can't get to your banks. That's a problem, I understand that. Whooping if the bank system goes offline. Whooping if credit cards go offline. I'm pretty sure most people aren't gonna have a massive amount of money in their house at all times. So that's a situation we cross the bridge when we get to it. I do have a little bit of cash on me. It's not a whole hell of a lot. But I do have a little bit on me, and that's just for those purposes. If I don't have enough and I'm at the grocery store and they say cash only and you can't use your card, well, then I buy what I can and what I can't. I wait for the systems to come back up, which they always come back up, fingers crossed. And uh, I wait until then, and I buy what I need to next afterwards. So that is a little bit about my products. That's the envelopes. That is some of the items that I do use. I will be getting to savings challenges this week. I will be getting into my budget planning system this week. I will get into all those things this week and show you all on what I use, how I use it, how much things are in the full bit. Again, if you want any of these products, please reach out to me. I will make sure you get the links. Again, I'm not an affiliate to anyone or anything. I keep telling Jordan Budgets that I need to be one of her promoters for her products because you know what? I use everything of hers <laughs> and she laughs and I laugh and we're pretty good friends. She's amazing and awesome and we talk quite a bit. So um, yeah, I should be her PR rep. There's no doubt about that. But that's because I do like her products and I do budget like she does. We both do ASICs budgeting and that's just what works for me. You do need to find out what works for you. We'll be talking a little bit more about budget as we get into these binders this week and I start stuffing them. I will start talking about how I set up my budget for each one of my binders, how much I stuff in the binders, how much I stuff in each envelope, when do I pull, when do I reallocate, when do I transfer, all those things. I will be discussing everything this week in detail. And if you have questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will address them in my videos and I will give you more detailed information. If you want my personal help, it's free, y'all. I don't charge nobody nothing. We're all here trying to save. So if you reach out to me on Instagram in a private message or on my email address in my private message, then I will get back with you and I will do my best to help you out in any way possible that I can. So that's the video I have for you today. I also will have another video out tonight with my A6 II budget binders. I gotta get those stuff today because I gotta stay on track. And y'all, I got a meal video coming out. I'm cooking four whole chickens today. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me, yes. Four whole chickens. I'm gonna break them down and I'm gonna show you exactly what I plan on doing that um, with all that meat this week as well. So stay tuned. This is just the first series video in the Budget 101 series, trying to break things down, trying to make things a little bit more easier for those new budgeters coming on board and learning how to budget. And yeah, I'm probably going to throw in a little bit of cook, cleaning and cooking and all the good things in my kitchen as well as my kids are preparing early this morning. They'll be throwing the chickens into the oven. So stay tuned, y'all. We'll catch you in the next video. Without Limits Budgets is out.